the Integrated Art Research Initiative, it was really a fellowship that allowed me to have like a teaching and a research semester that was very impactful. And I think my students benefited on so many levels. We were able to have complex conversations that otherwise may not have been possible just from reading a book. And it's a way to get students to understand that knowledge is not only in a textbook, that there are different types of knowledge and there are different forms of knowledge. Wherever you come from or wherever you are. The idea behind the Integrated Arts Research Initiative is that the Spencer Museum is an art museum that's embedded in a research university. And so we should be active participants in the university's research community. It also means we understand that artists are researchers in their own fields of practice, as well as making contributions to other knowledge domains. So when something get, gets longer, it gets weaker, mm -hmm. right? So now the annual inquiries really drive the Integrated Arts Research Initiative. The inquiries are broadly conceived to engage a wide spectrum of practitioners from many different disciplines and fields of study. During the inquiries, we engage in traditional public lectures, as well as gallery talks, screenings, performances, public roundtables. Also, the inquiries generally have an exhibition component, and we try to publish out from our experiences. Our first inquiry looked at soils and ecologies, and the exhibition component included works of art and also scientific pedagogical tools side by side. I use the Integrated Arts Research Initiative as an impetus to essentially finish some monoliths that I collected over the last 10 years or so. Also, it was good during the exhibition Terra Anima to, to interact with how artists and, and others represent soil. So in the gallery, besides the monoliths that I presented, there were other ways of presenting the, the soil that we study. And so that was interesting to think about how different people um, learn aspects of soils uh, by um, interacting with them in places outside of a lab um, or places outside of the normal traditional scientific methodology. One of the things that the Integrated Arts Research Initiative is really able to do is work with artists and researchers across the sciences and humanities and engaging contemporary artistic research practices as well as our own collections and other collections across the university. So I've been able to visit the uh, herbarium, the vertebrate paleontology, invertebrate paleontology, paleobotany, and the Spencer Rare Books and Special Collections at KU. And so as much as possible, I'm trying to draw um, materials from these collections that can be put in relationship with the things that I'm also sort of finding and making in the studio to you know, hopefully reveal something else altogether. And those are often things that I don't even anticipate. Now that we've laid this foundation, one of the possibilities that the program offers is for researchers across the sciences and humanities to come to the space of the Spencer Museum of Art and begin to think about their research questions beyond the constraints and limitations of their own disciplines and fields. Our resources here are our art collections and the contemporary artists that we work with. And so we take their contributions to culture and society seriously, and we offer them as another voice and a polyvocal search for knowledge at the university.